I stopped publishing videos at about 10 o'clock and then um, I saw the rest of the State of the Union Address. So I didn't see the first part of the State of the Union Address before then. Um, I figured, you know, if there were things about it that were going to upset me, it would be better for me to just like wait and sort of maybe maybe watch it tomorrow. Um, so what I what I saw of the State of the Union Address, um, basically I got I got there at the part where he was talking about Iran, and this is what the president doesn't have and that it would be very helpful for him to have um, and it will make all of his negotiations with everybody in the world less difficult this this is that and I, I don't maybe maybe he doesn't realize that and I, I suppose you know he may he may not realize that um, since he has spent since 20 since 2010 doing things that are, are immoral and it's you know I mean the thing that the president is really difficult it's a lot of work. It's a lot of responsibility. It's a lot of pressure. Um, I mean, there are crises happening all around the world all the time, um, and so he may he may not realize that things things will really really actually be better if he has this, um, and that negotiations with literally everyone will be less difficult if he has this because he does he he right now he has power but not moral authority. Right? He doesn't because of, because of all the human rights abuses that he's perpetuating in the United States. Um, and so that, that, that causes things to be a lot more difficult because, because then you don't, have a, you, don't, you don't have as much to say about other people who are doing things that um, are dangerous, right? Are dangerous or whom you think might do things that are dangerous. If all you have is power, and what you're saying to people who are less powerful is, you know, we don't want you to have more power, and you're not actually operating from a place of having um, moral authority, your negotiations are going to be much more difficult.